Hi everyone and welcome back to Women to Women where we're in week three of our series called Fear Not. Have you ever watched those uh, news reports or online those stories of heroic parents, mothers who have saved and rescued their children from a burning building or from an animal attack or they've, they've very courageously lifted up a car to save their child who's trapped underneath and many have said after that how did you go over that how did you face that fear and danger and they said it's my child whom I love and I would do anything for my child amazing heroic stories but most importantly the power of love over fear you know I've heard it said many times that that faith is the opposite to fear and of course it is faith helps us to conquer our fears when we put our faith in trust in God. And that's actually what we're looking at in this series. But I want us to consider today that love is an actual fact, the opposite of fear. And the power of love is so strong. You know, in 1 Corinthians chapter 13, a very well-known passage of scripture, quite often um, recited at weddings, it says at the end in, in verse 13 that three things remain, faith, hope and love. But it goes on to say that the greatest of these, the greatest of faith, hope and love is love. Galatians 5 verse 6 says the most important thing is faith expressing itself in love. So love is pretty powerful. And today I want to suggest that right now, in the world in which we're living in, right now, when there's a lot of fear and panic out there in our world right now, I want to suggest that we choose love, that we choose to spread love right now. You see, the reality is there is a virus out there just now and it is contagious. But I also want to suggest today, to those of us tuning in today, that fear is contagious. Fear can spread and it can spread pretty rapidly. We're in a battle right now. It's an unseen enemy. It's a pandemic and many of us are battling other things as a result of this pandemic. Health issues, financial issues, stress and anxiety. So we're in a real battle right now. And in the book of Deuteronomy in the Old Testament, in chapter 20, it talks about being prepared for the battle. It talks about having peace and choosing faith and, and hope in God. However, in verse 8, there's a word to the soldiers that are preparing for battle. And it says that the soldiers who are afraid and faint-hearted are to go home. They are to go home. Why? So they don't spread fear. So that that Fear doesn't become contagious and spread throughout the camp and onto the other soldiers. Put them off, cause them to be afraid. Because when you're afraid, you start to speak fear. You know what I'm talking about. You get up, you feel fine, you feel hope-filled, faith-filled, but you have one phone call, one conversation with a friend or with a, a loved one and they are fearful and they are fearful full of panic and anxiety and by the end of that conversation you yourself are feeling afraid or you're feeling faith-filled and you turn on the news and it's a bad report after another bad report and before you know it you're afraid you're panicking again fear is contagious and fear can spread but what is God encouraging us today to do well in order to maintain and claim a sound mind we need to choose love we need to choose love and we need to spread love because there is power in love there is power in God's love Paul writes in Thessalonians 3 verse 1 that we are to spread the message rapidly what message the gospel message and the gospel message is a message of love 
that God the Father loves his children, that he loved his children so much that he gave his only son, Jesus Christ. And whoever believes in Jesus Christ shall not perish, but have eternal life and enter into that love relationship with a loving father. That's the gospel message. That is the message, church, that we are to spread rapidly that we would see love spread faster and quicker and more powerfully than any virus or any fear could ever spread. So right now, God is encouraging us today to love. So I challenge you in this week ahead, choose love. Read as many scriptures as you can about love. Write them on your bathroom mirror. Use them as your screensaver on your mobile phone or laptop. Many of us are spending a lot of time on our phones and laptops. Get those verses about love and use them to feed your mind right now and claim your sound mind. So before we we close, I just want to read to you from that chapter in Deuteronomy that talks about preparing for the battle. And in verse 1 and on to verse 3, it says this, and I hope this encourages you today. It says, do not be afraid because the Lord your God who brought you up out of Egypt will be with you. Goes on to say in verse 3 and 4, do not be afraid in the battle against your enemies. Do not be faint hearted. Do not panic or be terrified for the Lord your God is the one who goes with you to fight for you against your enemies and to give you victory. Can I suggest today that we choose love, that we spread love and do not give fear a, a foothold in our lives or in our minds. Choose love and watch fear disappear. Until next time, God bless.